Get in, nerds. We are playing Hearts of Iron 4. Um, as you can see, we're still over here in the Pacific, getting prepared for our invasion of uh, the Mariana region, which includes the islands of Saipan and Marcus Island. Saipan. Or no, you're Iwo Jima. You're Saipan. Yes, and you're Marcus Island. Um, which includes all these islands, with uh, our ultimate goal being the ability to invade the home islands. That said, our fleet here is pretty beat up, so we're going to be taking some time. I'm considering actually moving the main battle fleet back to Honolulu for repairs. Uh, but I might just break off some of the more badly beat up ships. Yeah, you know what? I'll put it back in Honolulu. And... Nah, that's right. There's a battle happening here. We're hunting some cruisers. I don't anticipate any major contacts. We've done a ton of damage to the Japanese fleet, and I really don't think they have the capacity to... Uh, do too much damage back to us at this point. So, I'm going to kind of let that ride for the moment. Um, back in America, this army doesn't need to be training any longer. Uh, we got Gorilla Fighter. I, I never get Gorilla Fighter. I don't think it's useful. Um, yes, Patton has access to it too. Um, we've got two armies over here yes, in Europe. So the question that becomes a question is should I place... Sorry, this is a new session, so I'm refamiliarizing myself. I think I am going to place Bradley's army in Africa. Uh, with the intention of moving them around for an invasion of Sicily and then Italy. So I think that's going to be the plan. Alright. You guys will go there. And then Rose's army I'm actually going to put back into uh, Kruger's army group. So that we can keep uh, we can keep Eisenhower's group as, as empty as it needs to be. Ready. Right, and we have the armored uh, army moving westward under Hodges. And Hodges... Hodges is my combined arms guy. I think I gave Bradley my... No, who did I give? I was just looking at him. Patton. Patton's my, my armor leader. So actually, I'm going to put this army under the command of Patton. And then I'm going to put this army under the command of Hodges for now. And then we'll go on later. Um, let me see. We've still got a bunch of marine divisions in training. That is good. I'm going to unpause us. I think some of this is illusory. Some of this surplus is illusory. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that from there. Air do Right. I was making my decision about air doctrine. We're still a little bit short on steel. We'll buy a bit of that. We're suffering from a little bit of convoy inefficiency here. I think we're being raided in some locations, but I should take a look at that when it comes up. As far as our own convoy raiding, though, I think we can be a little bit more aggressive here. So I'm going to start using these doing convoy raiding in these sea zones, and we'll see how that goes. Frankly, I don't think we need to raid the Micronesian Gap. 
or the West Emperor chain. I think we can exclude those regions. All right, so we have cool sinking Japanese convoys there. Very good. Um, Army of the Philippines is still not taking any any damage at all. Japan does continue to press forward here in China, but I think that will end reasonably soon once it becomes clear to them that uh, that the home islands are under threat. Cool, and we are sinking Japanese convoys in these areas. New Marine Army is trained. Wasn't very smart of me to place them in DC. No, it was smart of me to place them in DC because they're going to be going to uh, Britain. But for now, go ahead and get them trained up. Logistics are actually looking fantastic, so we're going to go ahead and train uh, a couple more infantry armies, and let's see what that does to our logistics when the day turns over here. Oh, very good, very good. That's very good. Stonks. Interesting. Oh, interesting. This... Uh, this... British Malayan fleet came to aid my, uh... My destroyers who were... Or my submarines who were off here raiding. Wow! That's a... That's a heckin' convoy raid right there. How's it going? Ooh, real bad situation with steel. Hmm. Let's grab some from Vichy France. Uh, no, not from Vichy France. <laughs> we don't want to buy steel from Vichy France. What are, what are, what are we doing over here? Um, we'll get some from the Philippines. I think we can live with... Uh, improving with getting stuff from the Philippines, and then that's as much as we need. Raids here are continuing to be successful for the moment. Well, it's a submarine over here, but that's not that big of a deal. So, let's look at... Ooh, nailed a bunch of submarines. Over here in the eastern, in eastern micro. I always think of this as the East Emperor chain. I, I, that, I shouldn't be doing that. That's not even anywhere near here. I don't even remember where the Emperor chain is. Here's West Emperor chain. This is Hawaii Ridge. Yeah, we're no East Emperor chain region. Continuing to hit convoys in all these zones. If we can run Japan out of convoys, we can basically kind of end the war in China for Japan on a supply basis because we can stop Japan from supplying those troops. Um, although, okay, British troops are expanding out from here, which seems like maybe a bit of a mistake because we want Japanese convoys to continue to flow through this zone. But it is what it is. Trade's looking good. So let's take a look at the repair queue. Didn't I send my primary battle fleet to Honolulu to repair? Are you not repairing? Cool. All right. Whew. Frightened myself here. All right. So, yeah. So this, the USS Northampton is going to take a long time. The Indianapolis too. But I think what we'll do is we'll break off those ships for now. Uh... Maybe. So there's the Northampton. Drop us to speed one here. Don't want to make too many mistakes. Here's the USS New Orleans. That one's also going to take forever. 
Um, didn't I see the Indianapolis somewhere here? This one. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new task force out of these three. We're going to put it in the reserve, and we're just going to send these all the way back to San Diego. So they're not going to be repairing. And then Honolulu uh, can focus on repairing all these ships that need to get repaired. So these should be back in action in about a month. Um, and part of the reason I'm doing this is because our current naval development queue has a bunch of battle cruisers that are going to be in operation as part of this fleet in not too long at all. So I'm trying to keep them... Hey, finally decrypted the cipher for the German Reich. No enemy cipher being decrypted. Let's work on... Let's see. Let's work on Vichy France. Uh, we'll, queue, we'll queue in Vichy France and Romania and Hungary. And that'll take some time, but that's okay. So from here, I swear I had something I wanted to check on. Still holding out at Kalamata. Excellent. Oh, right. I moved troops to here. Are they on their way? They are. Haven't gone very far. Brilliant. Basically, as long as we're doing damage uh, to Japan and sinking Japanese convoys in this area, we're doing important work that's got to get done. What does our intel report say about their convoy count? Wow, they're really low now. Uh, where can I see that? Okay, between 111 and 134. So with another month of raiding, I'm predicting we'll have them basically down to none convoys. Uh, and when they're at zero convoys, then uh, the war effort in China is going to probably completely collapse. Um, although it's, obviously it's going to take time for China to seize back all of this territory. But until that happens... There's a bunch of British troops sitting here not really doing anything. Um, but until that happens, we're going to have a lot of work to do. We also have significant convoy needs at this point. So I am probably going to... But of course, we have a lot of development to do. I'm going to queue in another round of convoys. A round of 500 convoys. Just to make sure that we're good to go on that. So here is the uh, higher level infantry equipment. This is the final level of infantry equipment that we have access to here. We do have the amphibious drive. It is April 42, so let's get our uh, artillery sorted out. Still working on the advanced computing machine. I think we're going to keep... Plugging away at that. That's right. We can get up to a higher level air unit if we wanted to, but I think we'll wait on that. Might be nice to do some naval research just to get passive buffs, but uh, for now we'll go with. Uh, we'll get that improved high velocity cannon and then we'll finally build those. Uh, then we'll finally build those. <laughs> Those tank destroyers that I said I was going to build forever ago just due to the fact that they're uh, historically accurate. So, this infantry is about to land, so what I'm going to tell them to do is to move up this way. Uh, can I queue in? I can't queue in. Alright. So we're going to have to worry about that later. Logistics are still looking good. Very good. Nailed a bunch of convoys there. Nailed convoys there. 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 Wonderful. Uh, enemy convoy counts are going sharply downward. There's ten convoys there. Let's take a look at what the intel ledger says. Intel ledger says we're about halfway to where we want to be. And we're about one month to when my new battle cruisers deploy. Naval repair queue. 
Manchukuo claims Indochina. I don't think that's going to affect much of anything. Um, still working on a bunch of these. Okay, cool. So about another month, and these ones will be going faster once other ones are, are slowed down. Um, meanwhile, our secondary battle fleet is... I don't know if this fleet's repairing here. Okay, there we go. Um, that fleet being under repairs is not that big of a deal to me because there's plenty of... Uh, that fleet's got plenty of work to do. Uh, sorry, that fleet doesn't have much work to do because it's mostly a bunch of really heavy, out-of-date ships that are not really all that suitable for doing work in the Pacific theater, but obviously one needs to use the... F one, you, you go to the battle with the army you have... Um, as America, we have an unusual quantity of, of luxury in terms of maintaining the army we desire to have, but for now, uh, we are... That's, that's why I use those old ships in a place where it's not optimal, because going up against Japan, you just kind of have to. So, I do have enough army experience for another uh, doctrine. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I don't anticipate spending too much more army experience on um, on uh, tank designs right now immediately. All right, so basically I'm going to move all these units to North Africa. various locations in North Africa, and what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to get naval invasions underway in those areas. All right, all right I should do this. So there's our first uh, Amtrak battalion, so we need to get producing those. Let's go ahead and grab the highest level of radar. We got one more slot. Let's grab the other... Anti-aircraft upgrade. Uh, and then we'll queue in. I forgot to queue in the upgraded infantry equipment. What a rube. Okay, all right. I'm going to put this here. We're going to put five factories on it. We're going to put it below the aircraft with the other stuff. We're going to grab these, shift them over to building the new... Infantry equipment, that is going to take a long time to get efficient, but once it's efficient, we'll be good to go. Get that bazooka finished out. And let's get our marine upgrades. Lost a convoy. I know we're kind of on an action break here, but it is what it is while we work on getting our situation built up and on weakening Japan's ability to supply its empire. Which... Their ability to produce convoys... Their their use of convoys is not going down as fast as I thought it was going to be, but um, I'm satisfied that we've got control over these naval regions and that they are not at all able to supply any of the forces that they've got in these zones. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident at this point. Potential attacks in, in the Philippines and Borneo, but honestly, I'm not concerned. War progress is pretty good. Still about 300k casualties inflicted on Japan. I don't, that was a non-aggression pact. I don't typically accept non-aggression pacts from the AI. I just don't think it's useful for anything. All right, get these units on the way to where they need to be. Move out. Da, 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 da. Perfect. And once that's ready to go, we'll get planning naval invasions of Tripoli. 
I actually might attack ports here in Greece now that I'm thinking about it. That might be that might be the play, actually. Um, just to get Greece back into the fight, properly back into the fight. We're holding a tiny island over here. This seems like a like a bad situation, but these are all Italian troops. I guess German troops are mostly over here. Um, I'm not sure what rate Germany's been pressing forward at. I know it seems like they're still going forward, but we'll see. Lost some convoys of our own at this point. Um, I know these battle cruisers have taken forever, but they are a necessary investment. We're going to put those factories up there. And we're just going to queue in a few more. Not this many, actually, because we just need to get those Amtraks under production. I'm going to wait until 43 to build a proper marine tank. Gosh, that's going to cost so much army experience. I probably shouldn't have bought that, uh, probably shouldn't have bought that, um, that doctrine. Okay, so it looks like we're not raiding in these zones anymore, which is, uh, I'm pretty pleased with at this point. Uh, let's see. A little bit more steel from the United Kingdom. Oh, it's the Philippines. That's where we're getting raided. So we'll get a few more from the UK. Really? All right, we'll get more. And we don't need to get that many from the Dutch East Indies right now. I think we're at the point where we can build up some resources. We don't have the capacity to do the Alaska chromium deposits, but we can do those other ones. And we can build up some steel. This uses a bunch of civilian factories over a long period of time, but I think it's worth it. So we're going to go ahead and click those buttons. And we'll do... We'll do the chromium ones as well. So that's the Pentagon built, and now we're going to do the Department of Defense. That's going to uh, increase our command power gain, which is going to be very useful for a variety of things. We'll get a little bit from Sweden. I'm dicey on this one, but we'll see how it goes. And that's June 1st, so my main battle force should be repaired and back in action. No, not quite. The St. Louis is still under repair. Cool. How much longer are you going to be under repair for? Quite a bit, it seems like. Five days. All right, well, that's not so bad. Um, and these battle cruisers will deploy right around that time anyway. So that should be good to go. UK is justifying against Vichy France. Cool. All right, well, that's actually not at all a problem for us. That's an historical situation um why oh they're just in transit still put these units underway here now what do we want it's the middle of 42 working on, let's get cracking away at some of this naval stuff. Cool. All right. Ooh. Way over here in the Solomon Sea, huh? A lot of, lot of action there during, during uh, our time, right? Very nearly there. 
Oh, make sure you stay hydrated, kids. All right, and that is our fleet back in action. So I'm going to relocate this fleet to the Carolines. And this fleet is continuing to repair. I'm going to put them in Hol Honolulu now. Um, and that is going to really dramatically increase their repair speed. And that's what we want. And at that point, uh, once this fleet has finished relocating, we'll get our we'll get our work uh, of clearing the Mariana region of enemy ships ready to go. Now I brought up um oh this army still has an order over here. Well, that was very smart of me. I'm really uh, a, 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 a brilliant tactician with no uh, no flaws in strategic thinking. Let's try that thing I just tried to do again and see if it sticks this time. Whoa. Cue in a visit there. All right, cool. Those units are on their way. How is our fleet doing? Battlefleet. Wonderful. They're stationed. They're ready to go. Let's activate this region. And at the same time, we will fire. <laughs> we'll go ahead and fire these naval invasion orders. Only 16% supremacy in the Philippine Sea. Very good. Uh, let's go ahead and activate that sea as well with this fleet. And that should give us everything we need. Let's do it. Cool. These are partway done, and obviously our menu... Our Industrial growth is going to be really reduced while uh, while these are running, but once they're done, they'll be good to go. We're also still improving worker conditions to get our uh, base stability up. Well, our base stability is maxed at this point. Which is rad. Nice. Took out 20 uh, enemy convoys here and another 10 here. Wonder where they were going. Buying goods from New Zealand or something? Not sure. Okay, Japan does have forces here. This battle we are probably going to lose. But we'll see. Alright, we got the southern island of the Saipan uh, group. Meanwhile, what's going to be the ETA on repairs for our heavy battle fleet here? quite a bit. Yeah. Numbering in the months. Alright. Cancel that non-aggression pack request. I don't need it. Alright. Beautiful. Two marine divisions here. Marcus Island is en route. Um, and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to build up uh, a very large uh, construction project on Iwo Jima here that will allow us to properly attack the home islands. We're doing some bombing here. Let's go ahead and target a different region. with our air fleets. We could bring in some more airplanes. We've got actually some heavies available. Some heavy fighters. So let's go ahead and bring those in over here. And I'm actually just realizing I 
don't want those here. I want them somewhere over here, say, so that they can get trained up without having a problem. And I'm actually now realizing I didn't deploy my air forces in the Philippine Sea, so that was silly. Uh, in the Mariana region. So that was silly. Let's put the fighters here and the bombers here. Get those ready to go. And Iwo Jima is ours. Perfect. So, we're going to build up a massive radar station here. Massive air base. Bring those up to the top. We're going to go for one more level of naval base. Um, do we need coastal forts here? I think probably not, but let's build them anyway. Nice. Nailed two more Japanese light cruisers. Very good. We'll go ahead and grab our Pacific Garrison Army and increase their coverage to include these islands here, and that's... That's all his own. Oh, right. Yes, there is. There are Japanese divisions here that we've successfully isolated off in the uh, off in this zone. Do I have ships here? Ooh, we do have ships spotting. Uh, I think these are the same fleet. Right. Main battle force is coming to engage. We should probably sink these fairly quickly on account of we've got air superiority here. Bam. Wham, and also bam. Not to mention, thank you, man. All right, so that is the battle for Palau concluded. Still trying to nail this one submarine. That's very good. These units can go back to the naval base. And we'll continue building up our... Naval Auxiliary Technology. Oh, I desperately need landing craft. Ha! Huh, didn't build that in 1940. Probably should have done that. Whoopsie doodle. Gotten enough air experience for a better air doctrine. Let's look at where we are. The Northern France Air Zone. Yeah, we're doing some good damage here. Again, we're bombing France, which is rude, given that our enemies are Germany. Uh, they still haven't managed to get to Moscow, although they're quite close at this point. Um, we're having we achieved victories in Greece, which is surprising. Um, but not at all. Uh, I'm not at all unhappy about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close these naval invasion plans, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Marine Army train, training up again. Nice. Very good. Successfully took out those forces. And then once these uh, these two divisions are these ones. All right. So they're, they're going to take some time. Actually, no. We're not going to do that. Uh, instead, we're going to get these Marine forces preparing... For an invasion. Yes, sir. And we're going to see how this goes. Yes, sir. Gotcha. We're going to put I think our capacity is 10. Oop. Uh, Senator from Colorado offers support. This is another opportunity for pork if we build a... Uh, we build a munitions plant in Colorado. But actually, I'm going to say these kinds of deals are below the president. We have other plans for Colorado. 
Um, can we assign... Do we have enough uh, invasion capacity to assign... Yes, we do. Yes, Alright. So that's an invasion plan. We'll go ahead and grab these armored forces. And we'll put them on this island and the Caroline Islands. But again, we'll reroute them back up north. Once the time comes. So, with these armies now... I don't have the capacity to do a naval invasion here at the same time. And that was a, a bad misplay. I always forget um, transport tech, and I, I will, I've done it in the past, and I will do it again in the future. So don't, don't you worry about that. That's going to be a constant uh, aspect of my run here. Oh my gosh, there's no... They, they, there, there's no presence. There's no naval presence in the coast of Japan. I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to achieve victory here. Um, there's the upgraded AA. Let's see. We can definitely use support company research. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, our steel situation should be far superior at this point. In fact, it is. And our chromium situation is basically sorted out now as well, which is wonderful. Um, all, that, uh, all that chromium mining we did was very effective. Uh, we can continue to do these, but the time increases by 30 days every time you do them. So... What that means is we're going to... It's going to cost us more and more... It's going to cost us double the industry to do it again as it did just now. So yeah, so we're going to continue to plug away at that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be an episode. We've captured the Mariana region. I know it didn't seem like much, but it's, it's a really big deal. Being this close to the Japanese home islands will set the stage for an invasion... Patch. Do I want to give you an ability? Not right now. So yeah. So I think next episode we're 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 going to Tokyo and we're not gonna stop until uh, all of Japan is conquered. Uh, and after that, <laughs> and this is again, this is not very historical. Uh, the historical path would be uh, would be Germany first, but you know. It is what it is. But yeah, but for now, that's all we've got time for. Once Japan has fallen, we'll start moving up the boot of Italy. Uh, we'll put some forces in the Balkans. It's going to be a whole deal. Uh, and you'll get to see everything that goes on with that as it happens. But for now, I've had a good time. I hope you all have had a good time. And I will see you all on the other side.